Looky, looky. That's a handsome new money clip wallet from Popov Leather. Am I saying that right? Popov, P-O-P-O-V. I've got a link in the description. That is a fine looking wallet. It's a money clip wallet. So it's basically, it's leather and it opens up. It's got two sides to it. And on the inside and the outside of each of the two halves, you can put cards. Uh, it says it can hold um, many cards in each slot. I find you probably want to put, uh, you know, two or three cards in each slot. So that's uh, four, one, two, three, four slots times three, you know, maybe 12 cards. Um <clears throat> Or more, depending on how thin they are. You know, some cards, like a health insurance card, might be real thin, but a driver's license card is thicker. But it fits everything I need to fit in there. So uh, I went with the English tan leather. Look how pretty that is. Look how handsome that is. It's already got a, you know, a little bit of wear on it from uh, being in my wallet with my keys and stuff, or being in my pocket with my keys. But it's supposed to, you know what I mean? It's supposed to develop a patina. A patina. Looky, looky, that's a pretty, it's a pretty wallet, you know, a wallet like this, it's like, you know, you show that, you, you get that out at the, at the bar, or the supermarket or wherever you are, and people are like, wow, that guy knows what he's doing. He looks organized. He's got just the wallet he needs and nothing more. He holds his money, holds his cards. That's all he needs. Doesn't look like he's trying, you know, you don't want it to look like a moon pack or a backpack. You've got your life all your life's documents in there, you know what I mean? You're just going out to, you just want the basics in there. So, uh, in fact, uh, speaking of, what do I have in there? I, on this side, I got a, I got my driver's license and, uh, what do I got? Driver's license and my debit card on this side, on the outside. On this side, I got my uh, city double cash card. You got to get one of those city double cash cards. I'll put a link I'll put a link in the chat or in the discussion or in the description where you can get that city double cash card. You get 2% back on every purchase, not just at the gas station, every purchase. So I got my, my city uh, double cash card and I got my, uh, oh, and then I also have my other, uh, my work ID in there. The nice thing about that is uh, I can just do this. Like if I'm using my debit card, which is on this side, or I'm, or I'm using my credit card, which is on this side. Whichever one I'm using, I can just put that up to the uh, tap and pay or whatever they call that. You know what I mean? I don't even have to get the card out. So by having just one on each side, there's no confusion with the chip. It just it just works when I'm tapping and paying. And then I got another uh, state ID on this side for certain situations. And... Uh, my health care ID card and a couple business cards. On this side, I got my, uh, I got my, uh, my grocery store discount card, my loyalty card in there and a couple other things. I got everything I need, nothing more. And then, uh, you know, I used to have this uh, old Red Wing, which I kind of liked. It holds a lot of stuff. I'd pack just a, a crap load of stuff on each side of this. And it got really fat over time. It doesn't have as much in it now. I liked it, but, it, 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 you know, I would fold money up inside of it, and the money was just loose f flopping around. You know, I liked that it was Red Wing. You know, I liked the leather. I liked the patina that it got over time, but there's not really a, a true money clip aspect to it. So now I just keep this one for overflow. I just keep this in my bag for, like, Business, extra business cards, uh, extra credit cards that I don't use very often, that kind of thing. And then uh, for everything else, I got this guy, Popov. Popov Leather. I think he makes these, uh, they make these uh, by hand. They sew them by hand, and I think they make them to order. And uh, let's finish looking at the inside of the thing. So I got four slots. I got them pretty well all filled. I don't want to jam with any more stuff and then you know the money clip works like this you got a little clip in there and it just pops open and you put your money in there and then you fold the clip down and it just it's just right you know what i mean it just folds that money up in there 
and uh, it just looks right. You know what I mean? It hides the money. You can't see the money, but when you open it up, you know, you got your cash. It's easy to get to. It's easy to pull the cash out, easy to keep it organized. And it's just, you know, this is just what you got to be using for a wallet these days. You know what I mean? You're not trying to carry around your family heirloom uh, or, like, or your life story. You're just trying to have just the basics and be able to get to the stuff quickly and efficiently when it's time to pull it out. And that's what this thing does for you. It looks really good. Like I said, it's the English tan leather. And I went with the uh, cream colored stitching. Another option was white stitching. I thought that was a little too much contrast, a little too garish. Uh, there's also some stitching up here on the top. And um, I think you can even pick the... <coughs> I think you can even pick the color of the the metal for the clip. I think they have a couple choices for that too. But it's all customizable. I think you can even mix and match leathers. You can have like one leather for the front, another leather for the, the piece that's behind it and you can really get silly with it. Um, I just really like this English tan leather. It kinda, it's kind of like baseball glove leather. It's kind of like boot leather, and uh, it's just got a real nice feel to it. It smells great. Great leather smell. And uh, gosh, let's see what else I can tell you about it. You know, they, they finished off the edges with a wax, and they kind of burnished the edges to kind of just kind of seal them up so that they get a nice patina over time. Uh, they say you can hold uh, 10 bills, uh, like, you know, 10 $20 bills or 10 $100 bills in here before it starts feeling like it's pinched. You know, I got a couple, two or three in there, and it's fine. Um, and it's designed to hold uh, U.S. or Canadian cash bills. So, uh, you know, I think that's who they're making this for it. Americans and, and Canadians and uh, lifetime guarantee lifetime guarantee but I just like it for the leather that is full grain leather um, that's how they advertise it and I can tell you um, by looking at it that's exactly what it is you got all the grain that's full grain leather there just a really good looking wallet it's gonna it's gonna look really nice 10 years from now you know what I mean it's one of those things that you get it, and uh, it just looks better every day. Um, you can go to their website. I got a link in the description, and get one for yourself. I think right now they're advertising them at ninety nine bucks, but you got to be careful because they, they got sales going on all the time. I think if you go, if you clear your cookies and you go in there with an incognito browser, I bet you you'll see a twenty five dollar uh, new customer coupon. And that brings it right down to 75 bucks. I want to say I paid like 60 bucks. The the price is just, you know, depends on the day you're going there, depends on the ho holiday season. They're always adjusting the price. Sometimes there's free shipping, sometimes there's not. I think right now they got free shipping on orders over 75 bucks, but you know what? That's a pretty good price. There's all these other companies like Ashland you know, you've seen this kind of wallet. There's not a lot of companies that make them. They're hard to find, but they're out there. But uh, they're a lot more money. You're talking more like 200 on up. And you know what I really don't like about these other companies? Because I almost went with one of them. They got their logo plastered all over the place. They got it on the outside. They got it on the inside. You know what? I'm not here to, I'm not here to advertise somebody's business. I'm a I'm an anti logo guy. I don't want your logo all over my stuff. I don't want your Carhartt patch all over my body. I don't want you know, you know it might be good stuff, but I'm not. That's not what I'm here for. Is to have your logo. I'm not like a billboard. You know, I like to have my stuff look like it was handmade. I like it to look old school. I don't want a big logo all over everything. So that's what really sold me on this one. I almost got an Ashland, but uh, on the website, it was just really hard for me to tell where that logo was. That logo going to be on the inside only? Could I choose where to? I just wasn't sure, and I knew this one wasn't going to have any logos. So uh, keep it up, Pop Off Leather. Keep on making the stuff without logos because that's what people want. So Pop Off Leather, P O P O V. You got a link in the description. Um, it just looks really super duper high quality, super handmade. Super gonna last forever. Super super leather smell. It just looks sharp and um, 
click that link in the description, go get yourself one. And also important, like and subscribe this video, please. I'm almost to my goal. So close, folks. Will you just will you just subscribe to the channel? I'm always I'm always showing you little gadgets like this, little neat little things like this, you know, stuff. I, I try to help people find the find the, the the good stuff, you know, little little tips and tricks and little products that uh that I want you to look at. Just look at it. Looky, looky, that's a nice looking wallet. Go get yourself one. And then like and subscribe.